Let's get a sketch down to start with. So A, B, C, D. And then we're told that there's a, a line segment BE such that E lies on the side CD. I don't know exactly where it's going to be, but I'm just going to stick it here. It's not going to matter. This is only a sketch. So now this point is going to be E. And then we're told that the perimeter of triangle BCE is three quarters of the perimeter of the square, and the ratio of length CE to CD is lambda to one. So it's a ratio, but I, without, let of, uh, without loss of generality, I can basically say that that, that, that length is mu. It's just going to be a multiple of mu. And then um, CD, the whole thing is going to be one. Okay. So straight away using this method, I've got the perimeter of the square, which is just going to be four because it's each side is one, including that one there. So now I'm just left with finding the hypotenuse really, so I can work out the perimeter of the triangle because I've already got lambda and one. So it's just going to be Pythagoras' theorem, lambda squared plus one square rooted. And that's going to give me as my perimeter of the triangle, lambda squared plus one, plus lambda plus one. And that is three quarters of the perimeter of the square, so it's going to be three over four times four. And I've created an equation, so I'm now trying to work out what lambda is. Well, I can cancel them out, so I've just got three, and then I can, it's going to be lambda squared plus one, I can minus the one, and also I actually want to minus the lambda. The reason for this is that I want to, to get rid of that square root, I'm going to need to square, and if I start trying to square like this, then I'm going to get crossover terms involving square roots. Or if I minus the one first and then squared it, I'm still going to get crossover terms. Whereas now when I square it, I just simply get lambda squared plus one. And then I put a square around this one, two minus lambda squared, which is actually two minus lambda times two minus lambda. So four minus four lambda plus lambda squared. Ah, this is great news because I don't even have a quadratic in lambda anymore. I can just rearrange it to give four lambda is going to equal three. Um, and I could work out what lambda is, it's going to be three over four, but I'm actually interested in 960. So I need to think, what do I times uh, four by to give 960? Get that, I can do actually do fours into 960, two and 240. So 960 lambda is going to be three times 240 which is going to be 720. Neat question.